Are you also tired of dealing with a slow and frustrating phone like this? Well, get ready to say goodbye to those moments because I'm here to help you turbocharge your Android phone like never before. When your phone gets older, no matter how fast the internet connection is or how your battery health is, it's common for it to slow down even if you're taking good care of it. So in this video, I'm going to share the best 9 tips and tricks that you can try to make your phone faster, smoother and more responsive. This is Brian from Website Learners and let's get started. Number 1. Use a regular wallpaper. So if you're a person who's using a live wallpaper like this, you should just stop using it as these wallpapers will be running in the background all the time. This can slow down your phone and cause it to lag. Instead, you can use a regular wallpaper like this. Number 2. Remove widgets from your home screen. Widgets are another feature that is slowing down your phone like the weather reports, Google search and music widgets. They are convenient but they consume a lot of RAM and they can also slow down your device. So it's a good idea to remove all these widgets from your home screen. Number 3. Uninstall and pause unused apps on your phone. Did you know that having too many unused apps can significantly slow down your phone? That's right. You may have several apps installed on your phone, some of which you no longer use. These apps not only take up a lot of storage space, but they also consume a lot of RAM, which can cause your phone to lag. It's time to uninstall those apps. Next up, you may have installed cleaner apps and launcher apps like these, thinking that they would speed up your phone. But in reality, they are doing you more harm than good. These cleaning apps not only take up a lot of space, but their constant scanning and cleaning process can further slow down your device. So let's uninstall those apps which we no longer use or need. Once you do that, we may also have some pre-installed apps on our phone like these, which we usually don't use or can't uninstall either. So in such cases, we can pause these apps to prevent them from running in the background. So to pause these apps, go to settings, look for digital well-being and parental controls, simply tap here and here you can find all the apps and the watch time for the apps. Now go to the app which you want to pause. Go here and set the timer to zero. So by setting the timer to zero, we're making the app to stop running in the background. In this way, you can pause the default apps that you no longer use and free up space on your phone. Number four, delete large files from your phone using Google Files. When you start experiencing a lagging phone, you may have definitely noticed your apps taking a long time to load or it just crashes every time. This is because your phone needs free space to store temporary files. Now that our phone storage is almost full, it can slow down the system process and can take a longer time to load your apps. So we'll solve this by deleting large files using an app called Google Files. In most phones, this app will be already pre-installed. So you can just open it and here you will find all the files, duplicate photos, large videos, documents and everything. You can open these files and select the ones you like to delete and clear from your phone. I'm going to delete unwanted files from my phone. You can also clean up temporary storage which you can access by clicking clear. This feature will help you free up space on your phone. This is how easily you can delete images and large files using Google Files. Number 5. Use light apps instead of full version apps. Using light apps is a great way to boost your phone's performance. These apps are designed to be lightweight and fast, helping you save a lot of space, reduces data usage and improves the overall performance. Some popular light apps include Facebook Lite, Instagram Lite and Spotify Lite. Now we can uninstall the regular app and try using the alternate light apps. First, let's uninstall Facebook. Now go to the Play Store and search for Facebook Lite. Install it and you're good to go. In the same way, you can install other light apps and start using them. Apart from this, most Google based apps take up a lot of space and RAM like Google Chrome, Google Maps, Google Assistant and even the Gmail app. Instead of using these heavyweight apps, you can try out lightweight options like Google Go, Google Maps Go, Google Assistant Go and even Gmail Go. These are great options for users like us with low storage space. By switching on to these light apps, you can free up space on your RAM and enjoy more efficient and speedy phone. So give it a try and see the difference for yourself. And let's go to number 6 which is to clear up the cache memory. Cache memory is the temporary storage on your phone which stores all the copies of data that you recently used making it quicker to access in the future. However, over time this cache can store a lot of unnecessary data that can slow down your phone. So by clearing this cache, you can free up space on your phone and improve its overall performance. So to do that, let's go to settings, then go to about device, now tap on storage 
And as you can see, our storage is almost full. Now find the app that you want to clear the cache for. And here you can see the cache data for this app. So to clear it, simply tap clear cache. And you can see that the data has been cleared. Also, doing this will delete only the temporary data stored on the app and not your personal data. You can repeat this process for other apps to try free up more space on your phone. Now let's go to number seven, which is to limit background processes. Limiting background processes is one of the best ways to improve your phone's performance. When you have too many apps running in the background like this, it'll take up a lot of space, which will slow down your phone. Instead of having too many apps running in the background, we can restrict it to a limit. To do that, first we need to enable the developer option on our phone. So let's go back to settings, tap on about phone, then tap on build number seven times to enable the developer mode. Once you have enabled it, we can now limit the background processes. Just head back to settings main page and search for background process limit and you will get this option. Open it and here you can set the limit for the background processes. I'm going to set it as at most three processes. This means we will have only the recent three processes we used in the background. Once you select it, I recommend you to close all the apps and restart your phone for the changes to take effect. And this is a great way for our phones to work more efficiently. Now let's go to number eight, which is to reduce the phone's animation. Have you ever noticed that your phone shows fancy animations every time you perform an action, whether you open an app, move between screens or close something? Those animations can make your phone feel smoother and more responsive. However, these same animations can slow down your phone's performance by using up memory and creating a laggy experience over time. Reducing the animation scale will actually speed up your phone. Here's how you do it. In this settings page, look for developer options. Now scroll all the way down until you find animation scale options. If you click on it, you can see by default, it's set to 1x. To reduce the animation and make your phone faster, you can either switch to 0.5x scale or you can just turn off the animation. I'm going to reduce it to 0.5 scale. In the same way, you can change the other animation scales too. Now, if you try opening or closing any apps, moving between screens, you will notice a difference in the interface. And that's how you can remove unnecessary animations and make your phone faster. Deleting large files, clearing temporary storage, and disabling unnecessary apps can go a long way in optimizing your phone speed. But after trying all these tricks, if you still feel your phone lags and is slower, we recommend you to do a factory reset. This will delete everything and make your phone like a new device. But before we get to factory reset, make sure you've backed up everything you need and you are safe to go. So to reset your phone, search for factory reset from your settings main page. And once you find that option, you can hit on erase all data to do a factory reset and restore your phone to the original state. Okay guys, well there you have it. Nine tips to help you speed up your slow Android phone and get it running like new again. Whether it's cleaning out some storage space, disabling unnecessary apps, adjusting your animations or simple tricks that can make a big difference. So go ahead, give them a try and let us know in the comments which one worked for you. And if you found this video helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more great tech tips and tutorials. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Bye bye.